Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today here we are with the Comica V30 Lit microphone. And this microphone has a few interesting features that we will take a look and hopefully to help you to decide if this is the microphone that you need or not. Now, one thing that I would like to mention right now is that at this moment I'm recording three types of audio. The first I'm using a lapel microphone that you guys can see right over here, connected to my Zoom h one N, which is a different kind of setup but it's the one that I use on my daily basis along with a Yeti and then of course I also have a few shotgun microphones. Now I also am recording the audio directly from my Canon 650D so that you guys can have a comparison. It's always a crappy sound not from this camera but all cameras in general have a crappy sound and then I also have or I also recording the sound from this microphone right over here which is plugged into the iPhone SE but I'm not using the image right now only the sound from the microphone that Comica has the V30 Lite and at the end I will give you um, a few more samples but right now I would like to mention just a few features and the first one being that this microphone is universal which means that I can use it uh, for a mobile phone or for a camera and although there are workarounds that we can achieve with microphones that are not universal with adapters and so on and so forth this one is really easy because it has a button at the back we just need to select if we want to use our mobile via phone or if we want to use a camera and just selecting that we are good to go. Another really nice feature in my opinion is that it doesn't require batteries so all I need to do is plug it in and forget about it. I've got a few shotgun microphones and most of them use batteries so it's always a concern to have the batteries charged because we will risk to have to repeat the video if we don't have the battery. It also has a shock absorption right over here as you guys can see uh, it will absorb any uh, shock that we have while moving a microphone, especially in a setup like this one that I've got right over here with the phone and with the microphone on top. So it will help to have less those annoying noises that we have when we touch microphones. And then finally, just to mention that it has a cardioid pattern, which means that it will capture the sound or most of the sound that comes from the front where the subject is talking and it will ignore most of the sound that will come from the sides. Now this is my personal favorite way of recording sounds not only on this microphone but on all especially lapel microphones and also my Yeti which is uh, somewhere right over there I don't know if you guys can see it and I always select the cardioid mode or cardioid pattern which is the one that I prefer. Now that being said and before we go to the samples I just want to make a few experiments with you guys right over here so that you guys can have a better idea how the microphone works and how it will improve in terms of audio. Now at this moment I'm using the Canon 650D with my lapel microphone as you guys know connected to my Zoom H1 N, but I can pretend that I have the Comica V30 on top of the camera and what you are hearing right now is the sound recorded from the Comica V30 with the image from the Canon 650D. So we can notice an improvement if we compare with the Canon 650D sound only, which is really, really bad in my opinion. And right now let's take a look at the iPhone SE, which the image quality is not that Good. actually it's crappy but we can improve a little bit by having a better audio and in a few moments I will share with you guys a sample with the iPhone uh, using the microphone and not using the microphone and I will also use the camera on the same setup so that you guys can take a better judge if this is the microphone that you need or not. Now let's move on to the camera once again with my lapel microphone so that we can jump from one to the other and see the difference. So we are using the lapel microphone and right now we are using the audio from the Canon 650D as you can see. Horrible. Then now let's move on to the audio of the Comica V30 which is right over here more or less in arm's length and now let's jump to the Canon 650D and once again to my lapel microphone which is the one that will sound better less echo less background noise but we are talking in a different budget so it's different let's jump to the comic once again right over here and i tend to look to that screen but i want to look at this screen using that microphone and now let's jump to the canon 650d one last time and let's jump once again to the comic v30 
one last time and so that we can see the difference or we can hear the difference and let's jump to my lapel microphone once again with the Zoom H1n and guys this is it in terms of the Comica I do believe that it's a good investment especially for those that are looking for a budget solution to improve their audio on their videos one great advantage of using this kind of setup right over here is that we only will have one file to deal video and audio on the same file in my particular case what I do is I record image from one camera and audio uh, with another device so I will always have two files and it may sound and simple when we only have one video shoot but when I do a lot of short clips then it will get a little bit more tricky and setups like this uh, will help us to have less confusion in terms of files for editing now it has advantages and with disadvantages like everything else but I do believe that for the value is not bad at all and better than me you guys can take a judge for yourself having in consideration the samples and everything that we did here on the video hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one at this moment we are recording with the built-in microphone from my Canon 650D and as you guys can hear there is a little bit more echo, there is a bit more background noise and the voice overall is not as pleasant as using a external microphone. And at this moment we are using the Canon 650D to record the image and the audio is being recorded with the Comica V30 lid plugged into the camera. Have in mind that the preamps from this camera and most cameras is not the best but we can see an improvement in terms of the audio overall and of course there is a decrease in terms of the background noise and also the echo uh, is reducing a little bit and of course I'm a arm length from the camera so the closest I get to the microphone uh, the less echo there will be but this is just to show how it would look and how it would sound if you use a setup like this.